sense for a while now? Yes, I guess it does. So I suppose we continue doing what we've been doing? Okay, call me anytime. You remember what I said, but not what you said yourself. What? Those with strong wills naturally draw people to them. You said that. Right now, you have a clear goal and will. I'm sure there will be people who will help you if you asked. I see. I suppose I can't argue against myself. It seems like I misunderstood what I need to do. I don't know if you've realized, but Kagero doesn't even exist. What do you mean? On the moon and in Togetsu. I was called Shin Daniel. Kagero oh. Dawn is just a pseudonym. That name is a shimmer that doesn't exist. Maybe that's true for you, but for us, it's different. Whatever your real name might be, the Kagero Dawn we've known in the OSF isn't a ghost. And when you were talking fondly with Tsugumi, you didn't look like a ghost then. What Tsugumi and the rest of us need is you. Bonnie event with Hanabi, and then we're gonna do uh, Arashi and Kyoka's last little thing. So let's go on ahead and get on in there. Kasane, want to go get a drink together? That sounds good. I was looking to take a break. Great. Let's go to Masubi's then. What? <laughs> Sounds like you need a release. Did something happen? Did somebody talk to Yuito? Really? Actually. It's about Yuito, isn't it? That boy is such a player. Yes, it's about Yuito. Wait, hold on. Kagero? Wait, 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 wait. Okay. I wasn't looking at the screen, I was responding to a text from Zack. So... Are you okay, Anabi? You can talk to me before you go and take it out on those baseballs. Don't you have any better way of entering the room? Sorry, I've been struggling with this problem. Then I saw you two angels. Can't you say hello like a normal person? <sighs> you startled me. So, what seems to be your problem? Please listen to this. Dr. Hanabi, Dr. Kasane. Why are they doctors now? I didn't say I would help yet. Come on, please. So, I wanted to give Sugumi a surprise gift. A gift for Sugumi? Is her birthday coming up? No, nothing like that. I just wanted to thank her for what she does every day. And she's been acting really tired lately. I want to cheer her up. You really are considerate when it comes to her. What are you talking about? 
I'm considerate with everyone. Let's stay on topic. So in other words, you're wondering what gift to give Sugumi. Exactly. I have no idea what youngsters are into these days. So I thought I would ask you two ladies for your guidance. Let's see. She isn't exactly the kind of girl with a lot of wants. I think she would enjoy plants. Plants? Oh, I just remembered something. She mentioned she started research on moss. I'm supposed to tell her if I find some good moss. Moss? Like fluffy, damp moss? My Sagumi sure is obsessed with plants. She isn't yours. Here we go. What about this? Rainbow moss. Moss with a rainbow spectrum of colors. They were sighted in the abandoned subway. Let me see. Oh, not that. Oh, I bet she would love this. I'll head over there now. Thanks, you two. I like that Kasane finally came out and said, and went to Kagero and said, You know, Sugumi isn't yours. Wait, Kagero. We'll come help. Right, Kasane? Yes. The abandoned subway is filled with others, not just moss. It's dangerous to go alone. I'd be fine on my own, but I guess I don't have a reason to refuse any help. Let's all go moss hunting then. Yeah. No! I want to want to take another picture. I like to take my Hanabi pictures, man. Huh, this loading screen almost kind of works with how, you know, the teams usually are, how they're on the, your left and your right. Oh, uh, thanks for being nice to Sugumi. I was really worried. She's so quiet. She gets misunderstood a lot, too. We only did what anyone would. I'm glad she's getting more comfortable. Yeah, I was just being normal, too. No need to thank me. Help me, Shiden. I trust you, because I'm doing this. That. Hey, that other. It's the one we're supposed to take down. So what if I'm supposed to burn the damn fools? I don't care. I play the game my way. Or we don't play the game at all. Yeah, crush it. Useless. It's over. She burned it. Zack is sadly still in work today, and he's gotta go back in tomorrow, like 7 a.m. Like, dude, it's already 1 a.m. for him. Like, we're bullshit. No, oh, not that. Actually, yes, that. Okay, it's not even attacking the other one like I wanted to as well, as as good as I wanted to. Aha, there we go. That worked out well. Get it? Yes! This hit everybody. Nice. Very good indeed. Get by all the enemies. Nexus 2 comes out, we get a whole new playlist of tracks to bring to the, cl to the club. What's that? 
You really seem to care about Tsugumi, Kagero. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I can't help but worry about her. Does that have something to do with your family? Whoa, Hanabi. Getting to the heart of the matter. You're right. Sometimes she reminds me of her. But it's not that I see Sugumi as a replacement for my daughter. I see. I'm glad you told me about it. I've been wondering about that for a while. She really is important to me. Is that creepy to say? Not at all. It's nice. Because you actually seem human when you're talking about her. That makes it sound like you think he isn't normally a human. Although, I get what you're saying. What? You both are so mean. Hey, you just laughed at me, didn't you, Kasane? I saw that. Shh. Look over there. Now you're ignoring me? Give me a break. Or is oh, the good music keep getting cut that... off? Isn't that the rainbow moss? That was so easy to find. <laughs> Looks like Yo. that's not all we found. Ready? Of course. Hey, that's a good picture right there, I'd say. We're ready to kick some ass. I've also realized that the majority of my team is wearing white in Kasane's playthrough. Let's take out this scum and collect that rainbow moss. What was it? that wine delivery was a little funny to me for some reason. It sounded like he was trying to do something. He was just trying to do something. There. Hey, stop bullying, Hanabi. You're gonna get this ass whooping. Side seeing us now and trying to come in here. That's some bullshit, dude. Kasane, a platoon member is in danger. I don't think so, asshole. Kasane, use SAS to get behind it. Fire. Time to fly our machine. Nice fire. You got this. Yeah, I ain't playing with you, boy. My question is, what the hell is Kagero up to right now? <laughs> Last thing you hear is a fucking bonk. I'm surprised I didn't level up during that fight. That was close. I hope I don't need to worry about not reaching level 99. What's your deal? Those guys were a piece of cake. I was worried the rainbow moss was gonna get smooshed. Smoosh. I know you were worried about that too, Kagero. <laughs> you see right through me. Okay, 
Ready to go grab it and go home? But moss, huh? I guess if you live long enough, the day will come when you even give moss as a gift to someone special. Too many pictures of an abbey. The moss is so pretty up close. It sparkles. Sukumi will love it. Yeah, as long as it makes her happy. Thanks for your help, you two. You're surprisingly honest today. I was just thinking how lucky I am to have such great friends like you and Sugumi. You mentioned being normal earlier, Hanabi. I think that's really important. Especially now when anything could happen in this world. It's one of the first things you lose. It's really great to be together without any ulterior motives or worrying about trade-offs. I didn't have anyone like that when I was in Togetsu. You two never forget to treasure the people you have. Hagaro? I'll try to remember that. Ah, oh, never mind. Forget about it. It's not like me to give depressing lectures. No, I'm never going to forget this. I'll be sure to keep my friends close. That includes you too, Kagura. No, no, no. You don't need to care about me that much. I mean, I'm a grown-up. A real big grown-up. Hey, don't say not to care even as a joke. You know we'd be devastated if something happened to you. Think of Sugumi. Uh, you're such a good girl, Hanabi. Yuito's a lucky dog to have someone like you be in love with him. <laughs> well, why'd you bring him up? I didn't tell him anything. It's so obvious. Wait, did you think nobody knew? Uh, I... what? No, I'm not losing this. You can try and take it from me. But you will not. Alright, let's head back. I can't wait to give this to Sugumi. Yes, I'm looking forward to her reaction. Except, you won't get to see her reaction. It just gets to end right there. I don't know why it is when you have the DLC episodes, even after you do a character's final event that was in the base game, you have to do DLC episode 1 to get the gift from the end of the base game bonding event. Kanade! Oh, uh -oh. you startled me. I didn't expect you to come to me. What's up? Nothing special. I just wanted to talk to you. <laughs> I guess the feeling's mutual. Yuito sitting there like, I need to focus on Baki. I only have one small regret. I wish I became friends with you sooner, Kasane. It's not like there wasn't a chance before. I should have talked to you more when we were cadets too. But it's okay. We're friends now. So what kind of gift are you going to give me? Look, Kasane, here's a picture from the time we all went to Misubi's for creep. Crepes? I was about to call them creeps. We look like we're having so much fun in this picture. It makes us look like best friends. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> this photograph is proof of our friendship. Don't you have a gift? Look, Kasane, aren't these feathers cute? These were the last two at the shop. I just thought of you and bought them both without thinking. So here, it's a gift. Ankle feathers. Oh, I don't know if we want to wear those. Hmm. I don't know if we want to wear those. Ankle feathers. Hmm. Hmm. I mean... And no. No, not on either of us, I'm afraid. Ah, how sad. Hey, 
What do you want to do with your life? That's pretty deep for just a chat. Oh, you look at then maybe you should have a full debate about it. Just kidding. I'm sure you don't want to talk about that with an old man. Fine, let's talk about it. I know that you really take that kind of stuff seriously. Kasane, you know... Yeah, thanks. You're the only one I can talk to about this. Nice. Kasane, if you get a boyfriend, you have to introduce me. If he's too childish, I'll whip him into shape. I don't think I'll ever find someone like that, but I appreciate that you're worried about me. Whoa, this photograph is crazy. This seems bad. What do you think, Asane? Looking at how we're walking together, it's like we're a couple or something. Whoa, what's with that frosty look? Kasane, would you use this eye patch? I have one just like it. It's a pretty nice design, don't you think? I use it when I'm servicing, servicing my artificial eye, but it works as an accessory too. Consider it a tribute. Paid by yours truly? Huh. Well now, how would that look? We're definitely not going to wear it. And you know we gotta go from here to look at it. Hmm. So it is the one that covers up his yellow eye. Oh no, actually, okay, so the yellow eye is his original eye. Why not actually put his eye patch on? Yes. Almost hard to look at him without sun without the glasses, but... Uh, right, I need to wait on that still. Okay, so, Arashi and Kyokabani, you had. Let's go. Let's get them done. Get these two done, and that's it for the night. Then I'm gonna go on to Genshin and do a little thing right quick. And what I have to do in Genshin is I just have to get the dialogue for the Wind Chaser event out of the way. And I... Th no, whatever other event I have to do, that one I believe is a full thing that I have to talk through, so all I gotta do is get the Wind Chaser uh, introduction out of the way. Lazy as always, you never change. Thank you for the compliment, and you're as stuffy and by the book as ever. I'll take that as a compliment, thank you very much. So how have things been with Major General Fubuki lately? Good? Why are you bringing him up? You rescued him when he was missing. You used your power at full speed to go look for him, remember? Oh, right. A lot's happened since then, and I can't be bothered remembering such trivial matters. If you must know, I think he's still alive. That's good. Just like always, she'll never change, will she? How's Arashi doing, Kasane? Does she seem strange to you? No. Did something happen? I suddenly got a message from her saying, good morning. This has never happened before. I thought it could be code for something, so I wondered if there was a problem. No, there haven't been any problems. She's just lazing around on the sofa like her usual self. Skipping out on work again. Okay, that's a relief. Sorry, just let me know if anything happens. He's such a worrywart. But I guess I can check for him. Arashi, you got a second? I was thinking about grabbing something to eat in town. In town? Ugh. I guess it's not so bad going outside once in a while. So, where are we going? You are acting strange. What, is she trying to change herself a little bit? Fubuki said what? How rude! You should be mad at him for making you spy on me. That's a little much. 
If you have a problem with him, you should message him again. What changed? I mean, you messaged your brother and even accepted an invitation to eat out. I told you that I hate waste, but it's not necessarily bad. I thought I could fine-tune my lifestyle a little. Consider it a personal upgrade. Your hair clip, Naomi's cooking, and his letters. I used to just write them off as a waste, but I started thinking that there could be some things that weren't so bad. RSU 1.0 had a lot of flaws. RSU 2.0 has been operating for a long time, but I see some areas that can be improved. In other words, RSU 2.1 is currently in open beta. That's a weird analogy. Well, RSU 2.1 doesn't seem so bad. I'd give it a playtest. Thank you for the feedback. I'll keep that in mind. It boy. <laughs> Is that how it's gonna end? Let's see. No, maybe it won't. There's no trophy yet. What, are we gonna meet up with Fabuki somehow? Well, we finished eating and I'm feeling plenty energetic. I'm off to sleep then. <laughs> You're feeling pretty energetic. Off to bed. Okay. The fact that you didn't say you were going to work means that the update is pretty minor. If you change too much, you're bound to create errors. You have to stick to small changes. Is that letter... I knew it. I thought she threw it out. It's her first sentimental item. RSG 2.1 is proving to be quite the major upgrade. Alright, that was the last one. Being wasteful ain't too bad, huh? Alright, can't do that yet. Alright. I try to forget memories I don't need, but maybe there was a bug in the last RSG update. I remember things I didn't want to. It's a memory of when my little brother was little. I thought it was weird that all the adults were fawning over this little creature. Wow, what a way to call him. Call him little creature. So the little creature was a baby. Did you think he was cute? Mm, I don't really know. I was too young, so I don't remember. I probably just thought I got another toy. A new toy is the best gift a kid can get, right? So I didn't mind him, I guess. That was silly, I'm, I'm sorry. I want to go up and just a little bit to take a picture from this, but I don't think I can do it right. There we go. Anyway, Kyoko's last bonding event. This is the last base game bonding event. Kasane, the Togetsu agents contacted me. I was instructed to go to these coordinates located on Hiano Mountain. I plan to lure them out and gather intel. Will you come with me? Yes, of course. But there will be two of us, so wouldn't it be easier to just round them up and capture them? It depends on what they do. First, let's go where they asked me to and wait for them to show themselves. Okay, let's head to Hiano Mountain. Dude, I mean, I, mean, I guess team bonding events are still, they're still, you know, normal base game bonding events, but if we're not talking team bonding events, this is the last bonding event. No. Let's keep going. Do you still have doubts about your existence? Not as much thanks to you. However, we should focus on the task at hand. Hold on. Oh, I'm actually already there. Shit. I gotta run so far. Ooh, boy. I love this place, but please don't block off the areas and make me fight the tough targets with only Kyoka as my teammate. A little support is always nice, you know. What I've realized is that it's best to use Hanabi's thing with square. Oh shit. Oh shit. 
Oh, for shit. Not very good. Oh, there's nothing to throw. Turn that off. You're attacking the wrong one? And kill goes down. You're not supposed to be attacking that one, but alright. Level up. Oh, no. Get away. And kill this down. I thought I would be able to get it. I really need your help, Kyoka, so please get up. Oh. Alright, buddy, get over here. I know how to deal with you. Don't you do it. For violence as I proceed to shove a giant ice column in your brain. Haha, -ha. I struck first. Yeah, this video is gonna be a bit longer than normal ones. But this thing is probably like, dude, how much of that shit do you have? Stop throwing things at me. Let's get rid of them. No corners. No duplication yet, actually. I trust you, Kasane. Oh, yes. He really thought he would have tried. There's nowhere to run. Huh. Not over I'm getting stronger. <sighs> Whisk Kyoka didn't seem to take any more damage after she went down. I've got a nearby resource reading. Nothing we can take. Burn it. Enough, Kasane. Don't you cut me off into another fighting area. Now you know what it's time for. It's time to ride. It was a trap. That other is our target. Nothing. It was a trap all along. Which would be a big surprise. Damage to outer shell confirmed. Break it. You'll need to break its outer shell. Kasane, use your psychokinesis. I'll do it. Check And hit it with something heavy. What? Useless. It's over. Whoa. Good work. Let's keep 
keep our wits about us until the request is fulfilled. So what about the request? Is now the time to be talking about it? Sonic, the enemy. Guys, check it out. He's stunned and can't move. Oh, that. Let's keep going. Oh, that completes the request. Oh, I completed a request. Nice. I'm glad. The attack at the enemy's outer shell. You might be able to break it. I'm really trying to do the charged heavy attack. That seems to be the spot. Seems to be the last of them. No, not yet. I know you're there. Come out. <clears throat> I wouldn't have called out if we weren't ready for you. Now, it's time to talk. It looks like you're the only one here. <sighs> Her face is identical to yours. I suspected it. You're also one of the design children. Aren't they all? Just so you know, I forget they aren't actually. Storing Babe's data the same. is impossible, even with Dr. Pope's knowledge of neuroscience. I'm sorry you wasted your time. <laughs> Impudent fool. What do you mean? Vain confidence is not advised in the situation. We do not need the knowledge or the technology. We need your brain, the only brain that holds Dr. Pope's memories. You were going to use my brain to build a new babe. Huh? Babe prepared contingency plans for all scenarios. The current situation is just one of those. If the mainframe goes down, we use a spare. Togetsu merely needs to carry out the plan faithfully. I feel sorry for you. There isn't anyone to give you orders anymore. Yet you still obey. You have nowhere else to go. You don't know any other way to live. You can only carry out your orders. <laughs> you should be feeling sorry for yourself. What did you say? As long as I am serving a higher purpose, I can live happily, without worry or hesitation. What about you? You lost your purpose and your value, doomed to live a scared and anxious life. <sighs> you were listening in on us? I do not have to. I know how you feel. You are the same as I am, a worthless being. Only Togetsu can give us value. No, I... Watch out! What? Damn, trying to murder like that? That ain't cool. Don't compare yourself to Kyoka. You're nothing more than a mere puppet. And yes, I do my fair share of worrying, but that's a far better way to live. It's better than being used all my life, like you. Life is worth more when you make your own decisions. Kusane... It does not matter what you say. Your true nature does not change. You should be well aware of this. Yes, I know. I'm sure I'll be living scared the rest of my life. But that's fine. Kasane helped me realize that this fear is proof that I freed myself from my puppet strings. I control myself now. Whether I have Dr. Pope's memories or not, I'm still me. The moment I freely chose my own future, I became the individual Kyoka. Hmm. How the hell did it still get a, get able to throw something? Shouldn't Kyoka, the duplicate, have had a good hold on her? Let me get some funny shit to give a clone a cloning ability. I handed her over to the proper authorities in Suo. We should let the government take care of the Togetsu remnants. Now, that's that. How are you feeling? I'm still uneasy. 
But it's not bad now that I know it's a part of me. Do you remember that fortune teller? I remember waiting in the long line. I think the reason why fortune reading is so popular is because everyone is afraid of the future. You think so? Yes. Everyone takes each step forward carrying that worry with them. I'd love to have my future read. Let's make sure we actually go next time. In other words, we have to wait in that long line again. <sighs> I'm glad she feels better. All right. I should talk to Hanabi. That was all of the base game bonding events except for team bonding events. So now the only thing I really have to do now is um the DLC bonding events, but first I need to make sure I have all DLC bonding events available before I do that. And well for tonight, that's it. I'm done for the night. I'm going to go on to Genshin get some dialogue out of the way for an event that I'm going to do either tomorrow or the day after because it's definitely an event I'm going to be in a party for with friends just talking and messing around but yep for now that's it